Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. Just a very quick video to show you how to access the Docker containers that we created in the last video. Um, now, the first thing we can do is Docker PS, which should show us the currently running containers and some information about them. So each container has an ID, a unique ID, the image that it's based off, and the ports that it's running on, and its name. So we've got Easy Drupal, PHP My Admin Demo, and MySQL Demo. Those are the three containers we created in the last video. You might need to access those containers through the command line, and that's pretty easy to do using the exec command. So it's docker exec minus it, then the name of the container, so easy Drupal, and then slash bin slash bash. And that's the uh, console that it will use. Hit return, and I am now connected to my Drupal container. And you'll see the root is slash opt slash slash Drupal as per the previous video. So if I do an ls in there, I should see my web directory, which is where Drupal lives. If we go into the modules directory, like so, and list in there, currently we don't have anything in there. Now, because we've mapped this drive to our local drive on our development machine, if we add something to the modules directory on our local machine, or in fact, if we add something here, it should appear vice versa. So the two are uh, synchronized together. Okay, let's try that. I'll just go over to Windows. So inside our directory on our local machine, we've got the two subfolders, modules and themes. So if we add something in there, if we call that module test.txt, and then do the same in the themes folder. This is just really just to test that they're both working. Can't spell themes. Okay, now if we revert back to the command line, we should hopefully now see those two folders, two files in those folders. So having added those that file, we should now hopefully see that appear here. So there we go, module test.txt. So that proves that that mapping is working. If we go to the fifth themes directory, do the same. We should see our themes.txt. So that's a simple way of proving that the mapping works and it means that you can do your development locally uh, and have it reflected inside the container. Very useful. And we can prove that this works going the other way just by installing a module. So let's install path auto. Okay, that's path auto installed through the command line. And if we were to look in the modules directory, we should see those modules that have been installed there. And then if we look locally, so looking in Windows Explorer, if we go into the modules, you'll see we've now got a contrib folder. And inside there are the modules that are installed from within the container via the command line. So that synchronization is working correctly. Okay, that was just a short video to show you how that works. Uh, it's useful to know, and I'm sure people would have asked if I hadn't done a video for it. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one.